So Monday was Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference, a big confab for all the, the programmers for Macs and iPhones. And Steve Jobs, of course, was not there, still on medical leave, but his second-in-command, Phil Schiller, unveiled a bunch of interesting uh, announcements. There were new upgraded laptops. Apple, for the first time in its history, is putting digital camera memory card slots right in the laptops, like Windows laptops have for years. Um, they showed off the next version of Mac OS X called Snow Leopard. Not a lot of new features, just greatly faster, greatly smaller, greatly optimized. A welcome trend, I think. They showed off the iPhone 3.0 software, which is not the same as a new iPhone. This is just software that will go retroactively on the 30 million existing iPhones and iPod Touches. A lot of really great features in there, including copy and paste and all the things people have been complaining about since the original iPhone debuted. And finally, there is a new iPhone. It's the iPhone 3GS. The old one will remain on sale for $100 through AT&T, of course. Um, but the new one has some interesting new hardware features, uh, voice, rec uh, voice dialing, voice control of your music playback, um, a digital compass, um, uh, a much upgraded camera, three megapixels with autofocus where you, you literally touch the spot on the screen where you want it to focus. Very cool. Um, and you can, of course, send these photos right from the camera, much better low light capability. And you can also send and even edit the videos that you capture right from the camera. So I don't think it's, uh, the new phone is enough to make existing iPhone 3G owners sell their phones, but it sure will be tempting to everybody who doesn't have an iPhone at all.